Hello everyone. So today we're going to be doing Saturn in the sixth house. What happens when Saturn comes into your sixth house in your horoscope? Well, what is sixth house? Sixth house represents diseases. Sixth house represents your enemies. Sixth house represents your everyday work life because hey, that's where your competition is. Your enemies are there. Okay. Sixth house represents um, litigation, fighting for your right fighting for things you believe in so divorce is seen from there because you're fighting for the relationship okay either you're fighting to get rid of it or you're fighting to sustain it okay sixth house represents animals small animals pets your cats and dogs your parrot your snake really snake please don't be stupid uh, sixth house also represents uh, the the house of medical profession because it's a house of diseases so curing diseases you have to go into the sixth house to cure it right okay and saturn what is saturn saturn is restriction it's law discipline uh order it represents people less privileged than you uh saturn represents delay of things so what's your like things that it rules in your house those will be delayed okay like children marriage career success things like that, gains, wealth, things are delayed. Saturn shows reality of things. Okay, so he's not gonna put any put any sugar coat on anything. He's like, this is how the world operates. This is what it is. Okay, so take it. And this is why Saturn is so good. Saturn is one of the best planets you can have because Saturn shows you. See, when you're confined with this veil in your um, front of your eyes and then you're trying to see the world and work with the world while behind on the other side of the whale, world is working totally differently. You know how in your home, you think different of the world, but when you get out in the real world by yourself, independent person, that's when you get your ass kicked. So it's better to have Saturn show you that early on in life. Okay, so in sixth house, what does he do in the sixth house? Well, in sixth house, first of all, Saturn shows somebody who is always involved in long hours of work slow steady work okay uh involved in conflicts at work because sixth house is conflicts people against you saturn is law and order he's trying to put order into things now here in sixth house what happens sixth house is known as the house of evil house like dushanta house dushanta houses are sixth house eight thousand twelve thousand. these are known as the malefic houses however malefic planets in the malefic houses give good results and saturn in the 6th, 8th, and 12th gives excellent results, okay? So don't ever think if you have Saturn here, you will not get good results. You will get good results. But here, Saturn, this is the most um, hardworking position for a Saturn. So what Saturn does, he puts that hardworking energy and passes on to you. You, are, you have to work hard for everything that you achieve in life. You have to work long and slow and dedicated hours towards something. Now, when Saturn is in an okay and good position here, you can see lawyers who work long hours, lawyers who face conflicts, lawyers who's dealing with enemies all day long, okay? So lawyers have to spend long hours resolving society's conflicts. So this represents conflicts of society. This represents somebody who's worried about the environment, environmentalist, because sixth house is not the eighth house. Eighth house represents things underground. Sixth house represents things that are on earth. So here Saturn is on earth. He's down to earth. He's dealing with all the realistic issues of life. And what is first issue on life on earth is the environment. How is the environment? So these guys want to uh, put an order into the environment. Okay. Here uh, Saturn also makes somebody a physician because Saturn represents poison. So when somebody's poisoned, you have to take that poison out. So here Saturn can show somebody who is involved in healing the social class, healing people, whether to being a physician, being a psychologist, being a social worker. And this can also represent somebody, especially if the 10th house is ruled by Saturn, somebody who's a police officer or who is a warden in um, an asylum or a prison, because from here, sixth house, Saturn looks at the 12th house a prison, isolated places, foreign lands, um, uh, asylums. So obviously the person can go to foreign lands or isolated places regarding work. Okay. 
and here Saturn, especially what happens with Saturn here, he slows the process of everything that he sits in and represents. So here in the sixth house, he's slowing the process of achieving success through work. He wants to do work long and hard in order to achieve success. Then when Saturn looks at the eighth house, he slows down your longevity, meaning that long life. He doesn't want to suddenly give you death. He slows it down. So when Saturn aspects the eighth house from the sixth house, not only it prolongs the death for a long time, but it prolongs the other things too, which means joint assets after marriage. So if you're trying to build assets after marriage, they're not going to be just suddenly, uh, you know, massive amount or suddenly no money because eighth house represents sudden events. Saturn aspect on it kind of slows those sudden events down. So it's slow, sudden positive event and slow, sudden negative event. So your assets will build up with after marriage slowly. Anything that will come, if you were to get into some sort of an accident, okay, Saturn actually can protect you from that because Saturn is slowing the process of accident down. So you may experience small little accident equivalent to one big car accident. And as far as the eighth house, you know, like I was telling you about the assets as concern, you know, what you what can happen if you were to lose your assets, your joint assets with your husband or wife, that too will be slow and very secretive. Okay, so if let's say you have built a lot of wealth, let's say two million dollars, you and your wife saved up. Okay, and you as a wife are, you know, thinking that okay it's safe it's good but then you don't realize underneath the ground your husband can be taking money your husband could be doing wasteful spending if you are a husband then your wife could be um, doing uh, wasteful spending if Saturn is debilitated or Saturn is an enemy sign okay because then Saturn is giving an irritated um, aspect onto the eighth house and here what Saturn does, also it uh, constant, makes you concentrate on things that are hidden as well. So from here, you can see mystics, people who are interested in mystical science, people who are interested in the unknown subjects of life. Okay, Especially when you run through Saturn, Tasha, that's where this uh, thing comes into play. And here, what Saturn does, as far as diseases is concerned, it gives you chronic diseases, chronic back pain or chronic uh, uh, Alzheimer's. And what it does, it usually gives dysfunction in your sexual life because it aspects the eighth house, which represents sex. So it slows the process of enjoyment down with your partner. So you may not have a very amazing sex life. You may ha either, you may suffer from some condition you know or it just your thing will be very dry your married life will be very dry like saturn saturn just wants to work hard be routine be like a machine and that's how your married life is going to be marriage is seen from the seventh house but married how married life is going to be is seen from the eighth house okay then saturn aspects on the twelfth house again it takes people to foreign lands it takes people to foreign lands due to their own due to work due to conflicts because if you get into some conflict with somebody and you need to escape from them, you'll escape to foreign lands with them. But it can also represent somebody who's a physician working in a hospital environment, a psychologist working in the uh, asylum or any kind of mental institute. Okay, then Saturn aspects the third house of siblings and communication. And here, these people are very careful of their communication. They do not, they think really hard before they say or communicate something to someone. They would rather wait. They would rather not say anything than to say something. So this is why when a lawyer speaks with Saturn in the sixth house, he speaks very diligently and he speaks to really impact the jury or the judge. And it's the same thing with the, if Saturn is debilitated and looking at the third house, then your communication is really just, just uh, very impulsive. Like you may not think twice before you say something. Okay, here, however, what happens is Saturn is able to conquer his enemies. 
you know he's able to through his um, diligent continuous hard work and through his long hours of hard work he's able to conquer his enemies now what do i mean by this here's the thing Usually people with Saturn in the 6th house, if they were to get in a court case, litigation, which 6th house represents, the court case will prolong for a long, long time. Okay, because Saturn is a slow moving planet. So whenever, whatever he starts, he keeps it for a long time. But at the end, when that result will come, you might, well, you will most likely be ending up winning that case. So that's what happens. It's, it's, it's a very long pro dawn process on winning over enemies. So guys, this is my analysis of Saturn in the sixth house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe above. And if you want to know where your Saturn is placed and all the other alignments, check out the link below. Check out my book, The Astrology, The Speed of Light. And when you get the book, I will send you the link to look at your own chart and your Saturn placements. Otherwise, I will see you with Saturn in the seventh house on Monday. And tomorrow on Sunday, we'll do something else. So bye-bye.